LG screens. Today we are going to be painting in an epic blue. I showed this off yesterday. Yesterday I was showing some demonstrations on the epic blue screen. And over there, one of the exotic screens, which is the Midnight Mustard. All right, so uh, that is now available on our website. Uh, the exotics are back. So what we have loaded up on the website is we have the Chocolate AR, the Chocolate Ambulant Projection. Uh, we have the Epic Blue. We have the Green Money. We have the Onyx Unicorn and a couple others on there now keep in mind those are free color options anything that comes up on the exotics are all free color options so we're going to paint this screen right here quick fast easy done and then we're going to do our color codes off of it and you know blah 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 blah, blah. and then we're done from there we're going to use our 720 piece 100 by 800 as projector um and let's get this done let's get this done Oh, what about I just grab that other speaker and just do it from there? It's a lot easier to do. Hmm. I want to work myself to death. There we go. Bring you guys a little further down. I can't wait till I get out a chance to get outside. We can start doing some inflatable blow-up screens. A lot of people have been asking me about inflatable blow-up screens. Can you paint it? We're going to paint a few of those. All right. So as I said before with the exotics, they have that really strange color to them. They just don't look normal. Look at that pretty blue. And that's the screen yesterday I showed you that pulled a contrast level on a full hit environment. Star field, whatever, pulled it. Because that color coding technology. This would be, I'm telling you, if COVID didn't kick in, this would be a beautiful screen in a daycare. Because it's blue. Kids like them pretty blue colors. This would be a beautiful screen in a daycare. You don't have to be a pro, people. They're easy to do. These corners, I just, this is just me. On how I like to paint a screen. I like to go for my corners and stuff. And I just use the middle of the screen like a paint pan. That's my roll of scratch and against the one I'm doing. Yeah. 
have here. And I guarantee this blue screen right here will outperform your gray screen with no problem. I get those certifies on this all day long, which I plan to do today anyway. Going on color coding technology, and she basically can't display it. You know, it's going to be even more impressive when I get a chance to come offline and do this live in front of a bunch of people that can watch me paint this blue screen in and change colors on them. That's why I told you the exotics are going to pave the way. And like I said, this is God's technology. It took 20 minutes to make this technology. 20 minutes. That's it for us, because that's what God gave us. 20 minutes, there's no screen that exists like it. And then on top of that, there's another 12 more. Same lineup, same weird, strange colors. Perfect line. thing about it is, People will sit there and say, well, I can make a blue screen, but you have to make it under our record, which means you'd have to make that in 20 minutes, pass three certified screens, and complete all tests on the same day live. These are the only screens that are going to do it. Oh, I love this screen. Yes! I want it to be a 235.1 and a blue screen. That would be beautiful. This would even look nice in an aquarium. All right, nice. see my nice pretty blue? Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. I told you, since we got the chocolate screen, we submitted that to Hershey Corporation. That green screen was submitted over to Eagles Corporation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This technology, we can now color it to a corporation's boardroom to match your logos. Got to think of the big picture, people. Big picture. That always has a big Corporations are the ones that buy thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of gallons. I want the exotics to go in a different direction. And on top of that, they're ambient light rejection and they outperform better than the more advanced screens out on the market. And you can get one to customize to match your, your logo. I got a ton of editing to do. We got to remove every last 12 demonstration. Site got to be updated like crazy. All the videos in are old. So you're going to see a lot of pre-recorded videos. Those are videos that are going to be set for the website to change all the videos out. And uh, there's going to be no talking in those videos at all. Well, actually, you won't see them anyway. They won't be live. But yeah, they're going to be done a different way. They're going to be set up for the website. They're going to have our live set up over there, or how to page. So the whole entire website has to be re-ramped. And you're still going to be taking orders. You're just going to see changing out on the site, left and right. Because all the videos now have been taken out. New ones have to be put in because we don't make 12s anymore. Let's see what else. We don't make them no more. Yeah, 
is going to work. Yeah, do I gotta lift it up? Blah. 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 Let's see if I can get I think the fan's in the way. I'm pretty sure it is. Some lights on in here. They're way too dark for this one. There you go. Here, the screen is still wet, and that's drying right there. Ooh, this is going to look beautiful. Let me start. So you go on the website, I think there's about five of them that's available. That is a uh, free, uh, what's it, the free, um, oh my goodness, free colored option. So you don't have to pay 
a little more because one's a different color. It's a free option. Almost there. Now it's using 100% color coding technology. That's why the blue screen is able to see green. Well, I got some news for you. I will be renewing two of my contracts under my company. That will be happening very soon. I come out to my company before COVID hit, and a few of these people have contacted me. So I'm in talks. I'm considered now branching out and getting contracts. Hmm, that's a 
Yellow. Isn't that interesting? Hey, it's beautiful. Look at the color on that. I gotta pause that for a minute. You gotta see that. So exotics were designed to boost the color performance on a projector. Calibrate what? And that's on a 720p 600 by 800 res projector. Cost me 150 bucks. That's it. Calibrate what? What are you calibrating? Look at that color coming off that screen. Still factory settings. That projector still sits in its factory settings. Again, like I said, calibrate what? I'm going to put it back here. And you see I painted the screen. I didn't do it in a professional manner. Threw a bunch of paint in the center of my screen. Using my screen as a paint pan. And I'm done. That's it. There's not one streak in that screen. Not one. I can use a $150 projector in a 40 lit environment. Hmm. I told you at the end of the day, it has nothing to do with your projector. This is a knockoff, then it's definitely your projector. But after that, you got a name brand. Doesn't make a difference if it's 720p, 4K, 1080p. At the end of the day, it's the screen. Now here we are, we have a blue projection screen. That's producing amazing colors without the need of expensive projector or calibrating. That's how amazing God's technology is. That's at the end of the day. All our technology comes from God. 20 minutes. He blessed us to be able to make this, te this technology in 20 minutes. And all the screens I got sitting over there took years to make. AK 4K demonstrations that came out correctly. I'm one out of that, so I said AK 4K demonstrations. I'm curious how that comes out. Calibrate what? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna spend my afternoon calibrating my screen. That's not gonna happen.
But for right now, the exotics are only available in one and two quarts for right now. Put that in the little remote control room. Oh, okay. White screen. Let's begin. We're going to take, see how this levels up to a blue screen. We'll take the parallax right there, 0 0.8 daylight screen next to a blue screen versus color coding technology. Let's see which screen pulls up the better color. Isn't this just exciting? We'll take, uh, make sure this is up here nice and tight. All right, we'll take the Dark Star 9 to begin with. We'll each screen, Dark Star 9, this is their top screen right there. There's the color as you can see. Uh, we'll take the Cinema Grade 5D by Elite Screens color. Stay, buddy. Yeah, we're still in the wetness section right here. Yeah, we're in the wetness section right here. The screen's still wet. Look at the good images that are pulling up. I'll put you right here for right now because we're still wet in that section. All right, Stuart. All right, I'm gonna have to get something. Maybe the sticky could be a little worn out on it. I don't know. We'll get something a little more heavier. That'll stay. Stay. Okay, dope. Let's see how it matches up to color coding technology. Okay. And there you go. There you go, right there. You've got a blue screen that produces a better red than a 5,000, 3,000, and 13 to $1,400 projection screen. Oh. This is why I say that our gray screens can produce contrast and color better than another gray screen because it's color coded. Oh. Let me get a bigger piece of sticky for that one. screen can sit up here and outperform three certified projection screens, your white screen wouldn't be able to stand a chance against it. Anybody who makes great screen paint wouldn't stand a chance against this technology. They can see color, which means can your screen see color?
say if we take some screen paint and we take uh, Crow's personal mix and see if that can see color better than our blue screen. And if you ever decide to even do a challenge against a blue screen, then we give you that challenge back on again that you have our permission to make all 12 of them in the timeline we did. There you go. Let's see if your screen can pull up that same color. Keep in mind, if you're going to compare yourself to be equal to what we do, we'll put your product against that screen and see how we see what happens. And that's anybody, any company, any hobbyist. If you feel the need that you want to be, I'm leave it right there. If you feel the need that you want to compare yourself to our technology, you don't do our tests, and you think you can, I mean, I mean, you think we're this, that, and the other, well, guess what? We'll buy your product, we'll bring it down here, and we'll see if you, you level up to our technology. Never make a mistake of trying to fit your demonstrations. So that if you do that, I'll buy your product, I'll bring you down here, and I'll run you through a side-by-side -side demonstration next to our technology. But since an individual had to constantly keep saying that he's just like us, that you don't have to spend that kind of money for his product, I can do the same thing. Well, that's a blue screen right there. And that screen is actually going against three certifieds and your product at the same time. And you can't produce the color. doing your demonstrations in poorly lit environments I will go through your channel I will look through your videos I will study your technology or paint and if I see a flaw in there it'll be exploited if you're claiming to be ambient light projection you should be in a fully lit environment not ambient light controlled I'm not talking about color coding technology and people are like, oh, that's not real, it doesn't exist. There you go. You just watch me paint that screen in. It's blue. Hmm. Let's go with um screen Getting that from YouTube. isn't it interesting that screen being blue is changing to just about every color I throw at it I'm Jason Tatum. check out my subway sub for delicious turkey and crispy bacon and help you get shots from anywhere I like those bugs
and look how much darker that blue technology is when it hits the projector but yet on the floor it looks sky blue and look how high the white levels are we get their white levels are so high that's why they can't see color let's go with the hmm 4K butterflies. Getting that from Let's try, let me see. Grace Cinema. The Grace Cinema by Elite Screens. Let's do Starfield demonstration. Getting that from YouTube. Told you. It can mimic contrast. It's like a mimic contrast list where that was super jet black to the black technology we developed, but that technology can see contrast. And it's blue. And as you can see, the color I painted onto that surface over there, it is a very light blue. It's kind of a light blue. And it can read a contrast, it can read a black level. That is a parallax, if I'm saying that correctly. That is a dark gray screen on the far end right here. Let's Samsung. 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. There you go. Screens are making contrast. They can't mimic contrast, they can't see it. Sayers, it doesn't make a difference how much you hate the technology. It's being signed to contracts. I told you that I got plans for this technology. You're going to see a lot of it, a lot of it, very soon. You get a chance to see people's reactions and live, the whole nine yards, everything. You'll get a chance to see this technology in full stream. I told you, I got plans for this technology and everything else we're designing. Even this stuff you can't even see yet. 
you're going to get a chance to see a lot of people reacting off this technology. And it means all you naysayers have been spreading all those nasty rumors about the technology not working. Well, you're going to be outed as a bunch of liars. Because like I said, I'm dubbing your videos and I'm basically going to be using those videos against you when we start displaying that on our website. This is what the haters say about the technology. And this is the reaction that we get from everyday people on it. Like I said, stuff comes back to bite you in the face. Just like when Jamie decided to slander the 12 and say the 12s were so dark you couldn't see them. But you have a screen now called the Nova, the Black Nova 17 that's darker than a 12 and produces extremely high white levels. How do you even explain that? Yep. And that's this product against my blue. Along with three certified screens. Here we're going to out all of y'all. All of y'all going to be out. We talked all that trash and nonsense about the technology not working and it being fake, this, that, and the other. Yeah, we're designing a special page for you on a customized website. And the reaction of what we get from everyday people. Those storefronts that I'm planning to buy, these screens will be broadcasted in those storefronts. So we can get everyday reactions from everyday people that can come in and see that technology live, activated. And your videos will be on display there too. So you had a customer who I was speaking to said the reason why he buys my technology is because my videos are live and raw. Which means there is no way in the world for me to change or do any special effects. It is what it is, what you see. All my test demonstrations that nobody else will follow behind because you definitely don't follow behind my test demonstration so don't you don't even have half of the sample sheets i have in my arsenal you don't have them like i said at the end of the day you want to pick screens that are going to be comfortable with your uh your screen paint because you don't want any fight or resistance so you're going to find something that's going to be comfortable to your screen that's what you're going to do and you're going to use it in a poorly lit environment and overpriced high power projectors, all the little smoke and mirrors. But I can go in here and I can see all your flaws. I never got a chance to test this screen against my product. This is the Lux. Where can this be this to here? I have to move inside like this. So it's curious how that one. I never got a chance to test it out and screen it all. I'm going to bring it all the way down. That's what I should bring it all the way down. Hmm. Let's go with first the color white. Oh, first bad sign from the door, producing too much of a white level. You know where this is going? Red. Getting that from YouTube. Red screen. Audible lets you experience nope. books in a book. Blue screen. Getting that from YouTube. Yep, I thought so. It can't pick up and it can't see it. That's the first time right there telling me it's not going to work. Can't see color at all. 
Boy, this is going to be an interesting summer. I've already got five contracts already lined up for the company. I'll be branching off the line in about a year or two. We'll be mainstreaming through stores pretty soon. This technology is gone. I'm going to try to get this technology everywhere. And with that huge, massive, about a hoo-ha I'm about to get from that little accident, I'm going to pump a ton of that into here to go mainstream with this company. And then, in about two years of this, I retire. I would have already made my mark. So now we have the color coding technology, and that's going to be embedded with that sun killer ambient light rejection technology to make the ultimate screen a screen that can recolor without calibrating, without using expensive projectors, and ambient light rejection technology that can take a direct hit from sunlight, which means that stuff could run anywhere we want in the house with no problem whatsoever. And that's going to be a signature coding. Just want to add real quick. You will not be able to get access to that. Only we will have access to it because that's for our own fixed frame wallpaper and motorized projection screens that will be branded with our company's logos and names and all that other stuff. Because I've already seen from the competition already, they can't match this blue technology with that code in it. I mean, pretty much anything else we develop, they're not going to be the match. So that already puts us ahead of basically the competition already from the door. In order for Jamie to basically compare himself equal to us, you would have to beat every last screen I have in my arsenal. All of them. And you would have to do these color patterns, contrast levels, white levels, the whole nine yards, everything. You would have to do all these demonstrations as in the long throw at 22 feet with the 130 in the center of the screen. That's a lot of berserk demonstrations. You would have to be able to actually, can actually measure up to our technology. No one does tests like us. Like I said, don't even buy from us. Go out and do the research. Find out how many people on the market do demonstrations on our levels. How many screens have they tested against? This is why we're getting contracts. Let's go over here and see what they got going on with this. Not even close. So this is Deluxe. The L-U-X-I-N-I. I'm not saying their technology doesn't work. As I said before, it does work. It doesn't measure up to our technology. It just doesn't. Let's keep changing out. So let me get this straight. You have 120 inch of this screen, or 98 inches with this screen is, and you hit this with the $150 projector I got behind me, and that's the color you're pulling up. Yeah, you're going to be definitely calibrating your projector. That's why you're told to calibrate. You can't see color. And I can see color on a blue screen. Good God, if you got a white screen, cool. I hate white screens. I do. I really hate white screens. When I had this projection screen over there, I bought it in 235.1 and I had to sit it on the floor. I had to wait because I had to get my customers taken care of first. Oh, I didn't even turn my projector on. I, I couldn't do it. I can't do it. I can verify white screen right there. What you bring up? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There we go right there. You don't bring up anything at all. Not a thing. Nothing.
colors are so faded and washed out. It's not even funny. I, I couldn't deal with it. I just couldn't. I'm sorry. I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't wait to paint over my screen. Couldn't wait to get that done. The same thing I went to Disney World. Animal Tiger exhibit display on big white screens, but you got twelve thousand and twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollar projectors behind it, rock codes and barcodes. And Chrissy's back there on display, hitting these white screens. Girl, going into Target, the perfume section, nice hundred and twenty, you know, one hundred fifty inch screen, four K Epson projector up there. Oh, I guess I figured because you can still see it, it's it's still good. No, 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 no. If you're selling a product, you're supposed to sell a product. It's supposed to look realistic. Not even in the ballpark, not even there. Not seeing any color at all. And it's the sad, and the sad thing about it is, like I said, when you go to Amazon, when you go to eBay, that's all you're going to bump into is white screens, unless you bump into an elite screen. And they do have that uh, category in there where you can actually go in and get that particular screen. Maybe you might get the Cinema Grade 5D. Maybe you might get the Cinema Grade 3D. Maybe you may have a different screen in there. But like I said, at the end of the day, you're calibrating. Definitely can't use in a fully lit environment. This is not ambient light controlled environment in here. You're going to have to use that screen in an ambient light controlled environment. You're going to have to direct where your lights are going to be at and how close they come to the screen because you're going to, have to keep that area back there dark because your image is not going to pop up correctly. And majority of most of the time, you will be in the dark. No point buying an ultra short throw projector because usually people have ultra short throw projectors, don't have them for home theater setups. They have them for basically like a kind of a TV, a TV set top box to replace the TV they have in the living room or a lounge area, an area that's going to be well lit that you're going to have a lot of company in. That's where they're going to have that in. So there's no point in you having an ultra short the projector for that kind of setting, living room setting, and you're sitting in the dark. But unfortunately, they still sell white screens. That's why when I go to the former sites and I see people with amazing setups and they're going, look, look how amazing. Oh, I go, oh, look at the color of the screen. Like when you turn the projector on, your colors, everything just wash out. You see that bright tan washed out line on um, blocks across the screen. The only thing you could make out is the center of the screen. That is freaking horrible. And what kind of projector are you running? Really? That's the projector you're using? Good gracious. What in the world? I think my favorite part when I get into these form sites is I ask them, he'll ask you, he'll ask you like, well, what kind of projector you got? And I, I asked him, well, I got an SBGA 720p projector. That's what I'm using. I don't show him the screen yet. The guy starts bragging about, oh yeah, well, I got this JVC and it has like this, that, and the other. It has all these specifications and I paid this much money for it. Yeah, well, okay, so... Why does your picture look that bad? I think that picture looks fantastic. No, your, your picture looks like crap. It does. I'm not showing my demonstrations, but my pictures look like fully lit environments. My screen's sitting back there in the window on a $59 projector, producing bright, beautiful colors, contrast, the whole nine yards. Nothing's fading out in the screen. Spent all that money for that projector, and you can't see what that thing is designed to do. Waste of money. 
need a better screen. I have no idea why to go to the white and silver screens. Where are screens to actually get? Can't even see contrast. So keep in mind, a projector behind me has a 22,000 to 1 contrast. If you had the Lux screen over here, which is we spell it L-U-X-I-N-I, -I, um, this is what you would be seeing right now. If you have a white screen, well, that we get with that. And if you brought the projector behind me with the 22,000 to 1 contrast, as I said before, you're not even going to see it. You won't even use it. Like I said, half the stuff you have in your projector, everything you bought it for, all those little bells and whistles, you're not getting any of that at all, period. Right now, you can't see color. So how do you think you're going to get the rest of it? There's a 3,800 lumen projector behind me. Sony 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. There you go. I told you. Can't see red. Can't see color. So, guess who's going to be sitting in the dark calibrating their projector? Not me. Like I said, the companies feed you a whole bunch of dumb nonsense, and they do. You buy the screen, the first thing they're going to tell you to do, you got to buy a more expensive projector. If that don't work, then they're going to tell you not to calibrate that projector, the very projector you just bought. Now you got to stand, you got to calibrate it. And of all I'll say, I also tell you that, well, the lighting in your environment is not going to be able to be worked well with the screen, so you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to basically adjust the lighting in your environment so that way your screen can pick up even better. That's why some people claim when they say that, oh, my screen's not ambient light projection because if your screen does not pick up in that environment, you can't blame them for anything because they did say it's not ambient light projection, which is a requirement when you think about it because all screens out there in the market are ambient light projection. This is, I gotta get this off my screen. This is supposed to be green, green, to be green, not that color. First thing people think, oh, it's something wrong with the projector. There's nothing wrong with your projector at all, period. There's not one thing wrong with it. Unless you got a name, unnamed brand, knockoff projector, there's nothing wrong with it. Problem is, is that your, your screen, your screen's not allowing for your projector to perform correctly. That's the problem. No, that's a shame. <sighs> Takes a blue projection screen. Some of you all already understand, but you know, for some people, they don't get it. And I'll take some blue projection screen to show you that you're not seeing color. So the very screen you have in your house right now, you're not seeing color. You think you are, but you're not. And if anyone says, well, you're wrong, well, don't, and that pile over there, we have four to $5,000 screens over there. And chances are, I probably, if you do have one of those screens, I probably hit your screen already. And for the white screen, that pretty much, putting it up there, pretty much opens up the gateway for just about everybody. Because the majority of most people have white screens. Oh, nighttime in Tokyo. 
Let's go with some 4K colors in here. I like to go with the um, 4K colors. Getting that from YouTube. Got some nice pretty colors in here. Yeah, that screen pops. That's how your screen is supposed to react. This is exactly how it's supposed to look in your fully lit environment. And just to show you how far my projector sits back, my rear to here is around 13. I'll keep on it. QLED 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. Oh, this is gonna look like eye candy. That's why I said calibrate what? What am I calibrating? No. Nah. We don't do that here. We don't gotta calibrate. Our customers don't calibrate. Then we can contrast levels with no problem. Oh, I cannot wait to get these screens out on the mainstream, boy. These color screens are going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting enough staring at these things without the projector on because people are going to be looking at this thing and thinking, why is this screen blue? Why is it green? Why are they red? Yeah, I cannot wait. Exotics produce some of the most amazing colors. Told you, Lord blesses me to be able to go to one of them shows, man. I'm going to pick a crazy color screen because I want people to just stare at it. Because all you're going to see when you go down there is gray and, and light gray and, and gunmetal screens. That's all you're going to see. Imagine that all that you see a purple screen sitting right there in the center or lavender or this blue screen sitting right there in the center of all those different screens. Which one's going to draw your attention? That blue screen is going to draw your attention because you're going to wonder why that screen is blue. And then when you look over at the projector that's being used for it, despite all the 4K and 8K and laser projectors that are littered through that entire place, and that's the only person using a 600 by 800 res 720p projector, and then that screen fires on it looks like that. That's all they're going to talk about. That blue screen and that cheap projector that was able to perform like that because you don't expect it. And I told you the icing on the cake is to set it up so we have the lighting just like theirs and then we hit that switch and then boom, bring all that light right down on top of it. Light that whole place up because I know our screens can take it. They can handle it with no problem and still maintain that image with no problem.
that's the last minute icing on the cake. You don't do that right from the door. It's a strategy. God teaches you a strategy on how to do business. And the first thing he's, and I was thought about, if I ever got a chance to, if he blesses me to go to one of these, these shows, I'm going to bring the oddest, weirdest looking screen you've ever seen on the face of the planet. And that's the screen that's going to get all the attention because everybody's used to seeing those same gunmetal and gray screens when they go up there. Everybody's going to be using 8K and the hot best, the most advanced projectors. I'm going to use an outdated 720p, 600 by 800 res projector. And when that thing fires on and looks like this, or even better, and then at the end, the next demonstration, we bring down even more light making their areas look dark compared to how much light's hitting that screen. Yeah, that's it. I'll have so many contracts on my table, it wouldn't be, it's not even gonna be funny. But at the end of the day, like I said, I'm only interested in a few, that's it. That's the whole purpose. It's a strategy Don behind Power everything. Because if we can make a blue screen or any different color screen look like this, what do you think we can do with y'all everyday technology? Your gray, your gun metals. But no matter what happens, because I know some people are saying, oh yeah, the minute that happens, yeah, he's gonna be charging like 5,000. No, 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 no. Prices, we're gonna keep her. This is why when I get contracts for the company, they're gonna have to be designed a certain way where we have 100% control. There's gonna be no four and $5,000 projection screens and none of that stuff to cater into certain clientels because they have the money. It was never set off to be that way. That's the case, and I don't want to do it, and I got better things to do with my time. Where's my tea at? I don't mean much of a cup of tea. I lose more. Oh, no, nope, that's not it. White level is insanely bright, isn't it? That's why I had that blue screen over there in 126. When I first painted this screen, I was like, oh, snap. I definitely got to have that in the lounge. And that's where it's at. I got 126 of this screen right here sitting in my lounge. And I got the midnight, this is right here, this is the midnight um, mustard. I got that one put in here. I think they're all exotic screens downstairs. But this would have been a nice, this would be a great paint. I don't know how they're doing daycares now. I don't know because of COVID and all. I don't know if people are sending their kids to daycare and stuff like that. I don't know how they're doing it. But like I said, if COVID didn't exist, this would be a nice screen for a daycare. Nice, nice blue screen in that nice environment. Yeah, they put a nice cloud. If I were doing a daycare, I would have the blue. I would do like a kind of cloud kind of design behind the back of it with the sunshine in the back of it that's how we do like a border with clouds and a big old sunshine you know with a happy face on the side that's what i would do
questions you have to ask yourself when you run in front of a wolf, how fast can you run? Hopefully you'll be fast. That's what I like about these different. I like the chocolate. The chocolate's a beautiful screen because, like I said, it's it's a chocolate covered colored screen. It's kind of like the Ugly Duckling when you look at it, and then when that thing pops on, it has beautiful colors. Excuse me. They don't make projectors in different colors. That'd be nice. I mean, you can have a projector to match the interior of your home. I think that would be really nice to have. sugar right now. beautiful that it looks. Look at the white levels that pop. See how the colors come off the screen, how it's supposed to look realistic. This is how your screen's supposed to look. And you don't need you don't need 4K or a 1080p project. This is 720p. We're at 600 again. 800 by 600 res SVGA. That's the projector I'm using right now. I'll put the model number of the projector. And like I said, at the end of the day, it's your screen. That's what it comes down to. Some of y'all have projectors far more better than what I'm using right now. I guarantee you have a much better projector than me. these demonstrations done. They do these demonstrations in the dark with the high-end projector. The two things you don't think about is if you did that demonstration in the dark, then if you turn the lights on, what's going to happen? You're going to have to do the same thing in the dark also too, and you're probably going to have to send the same similar projector. Seven twenty P projector is gonna look this good. If you bump up to well, this is an SVGA. So if you bump up to an XG, XGA, it's gonna be an advancement for you. Even a WXGA is gonna be an advancement for you in 720p. So imagine what a 1080p would look like.
and I've seen people do this one too, the background will start tanning out right around here and around the corners. It's supposed to be from corner to corner to corner. It's supposed to be no tannish, no washout, none of that. I don't know what's more to take in. The fact that the screen's blue, the fact that we're in a fully lit environment, the fact we're doing this on a 720p projector. When you think about it all. I'm definitely gonna do the Phillips 4K. I gotta do that one. Phillips 4K. Now you're watching the screen recode, recolor, even though the surface is blue. So that means the projector isn't bouncing off the surface and coming back because if it did, that means everything would come up with a tint of blue in it. That means the projector is reading whatever code that's embedded in the blue, which is a coded color coding technology, and bringing back color. As you're seeing in different colors, the reds, the blues, the greens, that's what it's doing. New York City, night skyline, screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. That's not the dark one I want it. That's the dark one I want it. There you go. And it can read a contrast level, which means it can see black. Read contrast. You know the projector is twenty-two thousand to one. Pros personal mix, and that's the parallax by daylight screens. And that's their darker screen, and they can't read it. Now, mind you, the Cinemax is supposed to be lighter than this screen paint right here. If it's lighter than this screen paint here, and a demonstration I saw where he was trying to display contrast levels in a dark environment, not even close. Not even close. You can't even pick it up. If that screen can't pick it up, that screen's way darker than his screen. No. That's under the demonstration. It's fake. 
The best way to mimic a contrast level or try to get away with a contrast level is to do it in a dark environment. See how dark that surface is? That's the best way to do it. Try it in a fully lit environment, things get a little difficult for you after that. That's what's so anytime you're going to show up a contrast level. We do it on gray screens all the time. We show up our gray technology. We do them in fully lit environments every single time. I do, like I said at the again, at the end of the day, I do so many fully lit environment demonstrations. I got people who have to argue with me to turn the lights off. That tells you how many demonstrations I do with the lights on. Like I said, the end of the day, if it doesn't have color, the color coding technology that we have, you're not seeing contrast, you're not seeing color, you're, you're going to be calibrating, you definitely will be sitting in the dark. Outer space, 4K screen savers. Getting that from It's interesting. I don't like the projection screen big companies because they overpriced for the screens. They charge too much. And then they feed you a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo. Gotta calibrate. Gotta be in a dark environment. Blah blah this, blah blah that, blah 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 blah. I don't like some of the hobbyists because they cut corners. They do some of the most sneaky stuff I've seen. I can watch all demonstrations. I can see where you're trying to redirect light here and there. You're not doing your demonstrations correctly at all, period, whatsoever. You're selling people something that technically it's not going to work. Because if I bring it over here and I run it through my test and my demonstrations, how we do things over here, it won't pass at all. Because your screen's used to simple ambient light controlled environment. My screens aren't. We don't have ambient light control over here. It's lights on, lights off. That's it. Do dark demonstrations and trying to display contrast levels. Contrast levels, you're going to be displaying them, should be done in a fully lit environment. And you can't argue about it because, like I said, someone will sit there and tell you, hey, our screen paint's not ambient light projection. So if he's doing that demonstration in an environment that's using a control ambient light environment and it's dark in there, then that's where you're going to be at. See how beautiful that image looks? That's how your screen is supposed to look. Now my $150 projector, that's the image I'm supposed to see. No matter where I walk at, in my environment, that screen is supposed to display in a fully lit environment.
I shouldn't be calibrating my projector. I shouldn't be worrying about the lighting in my, my environment. None of that nonsense. I just don't understand sometimes, I really don't. For a blue screen, this is why I like to display the white levels because people think, oh, but if the screen's blue, that means the white levels are going to come out kind of a bluish tint. Right? There you go. Well, I'm done here, people. Thank you for your time. Uh, exotics are available on the website. I try to make these demonstrations a little shorter, but it's kind of hard to do when I'm trying to show you everything that you need to see. And there's a lot you should be seeing. You should be. If the demonstration is too short, then you haven't seen enough. That's the thing about it. This is your investment, your money at the end of the day. You know, painting the screen the first time, painting the screen the second time. Ugh, man. So, like I said, you know what I mean? You want to do it the first time, get it right the first time, be done with it. But, as I said before, this is what you should be seeing in your demonstration. This is why I'm going to bring out the sample sheets. This is why the demonstration may take a little long. But like I said, uh, if you're going to take the time to spend the money for the investment for your projector, I think you should take the time out for the investment for your screen since that is going to be around 98% of your projector's performance at the end of the day. All right. Well, with that being said, thank you for your time. I have to go and God bless.